Cermochrome, one of our most popular coatings, gives your part a near chrome finish. Cermochrome also offers tremendous corrosion protection and is an excellent thermal barrier. When you coat your parts with Cermochrome, they will not only last longer, they will look nicer as well. Cermochrome, however, great on exhaust, can also be used for a variety of other applications. Because this coating is a thermal barrier, it keeps the heat within the header. By keeping the heat within the header, you will accelerate exhaust gases out, which will reduce back pressure and reduce fuel contamination, which increases performance. In addition, not as much heat will be radiated from the coated part, which will help to reduce the underhood temperature, reducing heat absorbed by the starter, alternator, and the airflow into the carburetor, which in turn is another performance advantage from the coating. To apply this coating, you will first need to pre-clean the part to be coated. Removing all oil, grease, dirt, moisture, or other contaminants. You may need to pre-bake parts that have been in contact with oil or that have grease in the metal. You will need to etch the part using 120 grit aluminum oxide or other comparable hard sharp material at 40 psi in a suction type cabinet. You may use 100 grit on exhaust parts. Once your part has been sandblasted, you will now want to remove all blasting residue from the part by rinsing with acetone or similar solvent based cleaner. Never use mineral spirits or wax and grease remover. Once the part is dry from the rinse, you are now ready to apply the coating. To apply this coating properly, a few supplies are in order. An airbrush or detail touch-up gun, dust mask, respirator, tape, protective gloves, paper towels, safety glasses, paint strainers, and a blender. MCX Thermochrome is a water-based coating. You will need to stir the coating in the container to break up any settlement in the bottom of the can. This can be done with a paint mixer on a drill or a dispersion blade. Once you have mixed the material in the can to a consistent gray color, you will then need to pour a small amount into a blender. This step ensures that the coating is dispersed properly. Set the blender on the highest setting and leave until it is warm to the touch. This should be done in the blender that is not used to prepare food. For best results, apply this coating using a gravity feed detail touch-up gun using a 1mm nozzle size. Spray the coating at about 50 to 60 psi depending on your spray gun. Always spray your hard to reach areas first. Cermochrome should go on and give a wet appearance. While you are spraying, inspect your part for complete coverage and for runs or other signs of improper coverage. Make sure the part is completely coated with a nice wet coat. Allow the part to air dry. This should take between 5 to 15 minutes. For water-based coatings such as Cermochrome, a little heat may be added to accelerate water evaporation on cold days or in humid areas. When the part is dry, it should have a light gray finish throughout. Cermochrome is a coating that does require baking. You will need to bake the part in an oven at 500 degrees for one hour. This should be done in an oven that is capable of holding the bake temperature and again is not used for food preparation. After the part has been baked and has cooled off, you are now ready to polish the coated part. If you have access to a laboratory polisher, which is the easiest method to polish thermochrome, you can just set the part in and wait for it to polish it for you. If you do not have a vibratory polisher, you can polish it the old fashioned way with a little more time and a little more hard work by hand. In both cases, the longer you polish the part, the shinier it will become. After your part has been polished, a quick rinse off with distilled water is in order. Then the part is ready to be installed. Your parts now not only look better, but will last longer and perform better. 
Cermochrome, however, is a coating not available to the general public. To get your part cermochromed, you'll need to go to a genuine cermochrome applicator.